Hey guys, it's here bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to the Nuzlocke Challenge. Today we are playing Ari. Uh, I like this champion. You know, last season we played a decent amount of Ari, but later, like the the, the tail end of the year, less so, because I do think the champion fell off a bit. Uh, this is donated, by the way, by Hizzy20. So much Hizzy uh, for the dono. Bringing up the old load of Madudar very fast. I think we're against an Akali. Yes, and I might have taken the I might have taken armor. Uh, which isn't obviously the best. Um, so we've got Ash Nami versus Miss... Whoa! 1,400 games of Misfortune. She's played 3,000 games this season. 6.5 million mastery points on Misfortune. She's level 2,721. Okay, I gotta do something quick. I wanna see where she peaked. She peaked in Platinum 1. Welcome to Rift. Holy. A secret. We literally... Uh, we played a couple games today and they haven't gone very well. Earlier we saw a Jin with, what was it, 4.5 million? And I was like, that's insane. And we now have someone that has got 2 million more mastery points. That's just nuts. <sighs> also, uh, if everything has gone correct, this video is technically, I believe, the second video on the 24th of December. Um, so Merry Christmas, because technically here in the UK, I'm uploading this at midnight, which means it's actually me uploading this here in the UK. Technically, it's the, 25, it's the 25th of December. So Merry Christmas. Um, thank you very much, obviously, for helping me what I do. And hopefully we're going to have a great 2023. And again, I've, I've said a few times, 2023, I am going to be focusing a bit more on the YouTube channel and a bit more on educational league content. So if you are looking forward to that, let me know. Throw a like on the video and uh, hopefully you'll have a good time. Yeah, yeah that's probably a little bit too many games of league. When is the Lego McLaren build? Good question. Um, we'll probably aim to do that. I'm going to say... Again, it's, it's hard to commit to a date because like life at the moment is a bit chaotic with a certain dog pleb. We might... Because I'm going to be doing a, a Christmassy event in... Well, by the time this comes out on YouTube, obviously it's already been, but around the 20th of December, but I don't know if I'll be doing it on that day. The build. Maybe between... Because like, I'm having a few days off for Christmas, obviously, to go see family, etc. Um, so maybe it'll be between Christmas and... New Year, possibly? What's that jungle? Wukong, okay. So what do I think, by the way, is the problem with Ari? Why is she not mainstream and stuff like that? The problem with Ari, and I think it's always been part of her, not flaw, as it were, but she is, uh, arguably, she is a mage assassin. And I think they've always had a difficult time balancing that. So if her assassin side is too strong sometimes her mage side is a bit lackluster and vice versa i think that is partially the problem nice we do want a strong rengar because even though even riot has admitted it's an unhealthy thing with having yumi in the game all we kind of want to do is have a uh We want to have a strong Rengar and then Yumi will attach the Rengar and Bob's your uncle will be probably winning the game. You literally want to know, how, does this player have a thousand games with another champ with a 10% win rate? What the hell? Yeah, I will actually check that because that actually did make me think. Considering she's got a very good win rate on Misfortune, she has a 57% win rate with 1400 games. Oh snap, she has nearly like a negative win rate with everything else. 
So she's got her next champion is Kaiser with 257 games. It's not a terrible win rate, but at that level of games, it's significant. It's 49.4%. So just below, but that means that she has lost a decent amount more games than wins. And yeah, most of the champions, she's got like 100 games on a lot of champions and a lot of them are just falling into negative win rates. So, yeah. Because some people may ask me like, so has, what would be stopping this player from climbing? You know, and maybe some of you might see yourself in this player partially. You play a lot of games where you just can't climb. Obviously, potentially, I'd be able to see a lot more if I watched one of their games. But my the biggest thing that I can just guess straight away is she's not actively trying to improve. If you if you've played that many games, three thousand games, and you're kind of stagnant in, in rating, you're not actively playing to improve. You're just playing the game, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, that, uh, even though you're playing ranked, and even though yes, it's three thousand games of ranked, a lot of people got that said insane hardcore ranked player. It technically is, but you don't know what mentality they're in. Are they in the I have to climb mentality, or are they? This is just my main hobby, and I'm just playing the game. Um. We don't know. We, we ultimately do not know what mentality this player is playing the game in. Ugh. Fuzzy cannon. Um, so, yeah. So, but that, that would be my biggest thing, is that with that many games... I soup. She made a mistake of following an Ari. And just get her into my tower. Very nice solo kill. An enemy has been slain. Nice solo kill. Jax is arguably one of the biggest counters to Yone. We know this obviously through Shmion, one of our members of our community, is typically a master top laner who loves Yone and bans Jax like every game. No matter even what champion he plays. Jax does have that air of frustration because he is a very basic auto attacky champion but he has that extra layer of strength that i even think like trindamir doesn't have oh excuse me nice don't think this wasn't an akali player was it and she doesn't come across as an akali player which again is not necessarily a bad thing. It's preseason, so like, preseason is ultimately the time that is technically the best for picking up new champions. But the the thing is, a lot of people are just playing champions they don't play. They're not picking up champions. Um. So yeah. You found a six-year-old video of mine titled "I am inting on Trundle." <laughs> really? What did I do in that video? Presumably, it was probably just a bad game. Ace, you get delivery light every day. You have a Nando's. You had Mackie's two days ago, didn't you? Jesus, share some. An enemy has been <laughs> yeah, what? The funny thing is, if I had it all up at the right time, she was dead. Macca's was really bad. Oh. It's Akali, dude. She has such a weird playstyle. Like, so basically what you do, like, when you're laning against somebody, you're basically playing mental chess. You're trying to make what they're doing make sense. 
And the thing that I can't quite get with this Akali is her plays just don't quite make sense. To him. Oh god. Eh. Very nice. Okay, he works out. Ugh. Also, technically, oh no, <laughs> technically the giveaway entries would have just ended because the giveaway would have finished on midnight just now of this video coming out. Hopefully you all entered. Oh no, wait, am I ending it on midnight on the 24th? third technically so it's be when it's becoming the 24th i might be doing it that instead because then i can try to contact the winners on the 24th so they know they have like an extra christmas gift i think is the idea hmm. we'll make sure we get this dragon if we can why do you use E randomly? E is a very powerful tool. I wouldn't just use it randomly on a minion. Hey, okay. Monkey. Again, she just randomly uses the E. Oh, I hit that. Hog. Well, that's her ult gone. This one, the one nearest. Why would Wukong go to the bush? Ooh. See that, Shry Dragon. What am I going, actually? I don't, as you all know, I'm never a big fan of Everfrost Ari because, again, Oh, what? Nice. Um, it gets rid of her, what I would actually call carry potential, but what was becoming more common with Ari is you weren't playing her for carry potential, you were playing her for utility. And again, that's kind of, again, the contradiction to the champion. She's a mage assassin that you were playing for utility. But I think this game, actually, utility is better. Looking at our comp, it's a very strong comp. So I don't, you know, I'm the main AP damage, sure, but... We have a fed Rengar, we've got a Jaxa scaling, we've got Misfortune that can just do our damage over time. I think actually utility is actually the better thing to do. So again, put Ego to the side, don't do the full carry build, that's more risky. Do the build that will hopefully help my team a bit more. That Jaxa overstayed a bit. Oh, bot lane's losing. Oh, just. I think they're going to stay on farm. Dominating. How tempting. Nice. Your team has destroyed. I'm Roman. Why would she flash? May as well see if I can get one more tower plate quick. I've got 10 seconds. Oh, hey, we get one more, one more tower plate. Just before it ended. All right, there you go. All yours. Oh, Jack's died. An ally has been slain. Oh. 
Did he turn like a millisecond, like a millimeter or something? And that's what enabled the range? Because I don't understand how she got the range. No! Oh. Keep her going. Oh, bummed. Um, knock, knock. We're at your front door. Knock, knock. Enemy team. Um. Okay. <sighs> Is a 15 minute in hip good? It's both good and bad. So there's a logic to not wanting to take an inhib early, and that logic is if you feel that you're not going to be able to apply pressure elsewhere because of the supers in mid, it's actually bad to do it. The reason why it's bad to take an inhib that early is if you take an inhib early, it ultimately means you're not really going to be able to do much in mid lane because it's always going to be pushed down mid. And if the enemy team hold you off on the side lanes, they're just getting free farm in mid. They're getting a lot of farm. The, the, the super minions are worth a lot of gold. Each wave, there's a super minion. And it actually can help them recover the game. But where it's good is if you can use the pressure. Like, look, it's all the way in their base. If you can use this pressure to go, oh, snap, we're going to get tier two here. Or we're going to get the dragon. Or we're going to get the baron. Then it's fine. But that is ultimately it. You've got to be very careful with continuously applying that pressure. Because if you don't, you're actually just giving them a way back into the game. Does damage. I'm surprised Rengar died. But Wukong is a very strong champion himself right now. And Ash does decent DPS if loud just to like attack. Ouchies. Anybody remember when you used to charm this on Ari and it used to heal it? Those are fun days. Hey, Tenchoga. All right. It does kind of feel like we need to apply more pressure than what we currently are doing, because since getting the inhib in mid, we've actually not really gained that much. Monkey, good bubble. Is Nami, to be fair to her, does good predicted bubbles? Oh, just... Like, we should... Like, Rengar and Yumi should probably... Ooh, good flash! You're two levels down. Wow, you just won that. Yeah, she was two levels down. That's why that is not going actually that easy. Thought you'd be basing in that. Come on. <laughs> Hey Duplo, is this new Jax? Uh, I know he was getting a, a change, but I can't remember what it specifically is. But I believe... No, is it? Maybe? Oh, hello. 
Thanks for so OP. Yeah. I've been saying this whole preseason, man. They did not need buffs. I might have some dumb opinions about League, and I will admit that. But sometimes I am right. Red um, smite. Was Red Ward, sorry, is actually better this game. Red Ward, it won't give you obviously complete vision of a Wukong when he's in W or a Kali in her thing, but it'll give you the outline so you can hopefully hit a charm or at least ever frost. Uh, Corpse Cat 116. Thank you so much for the six months of Prime. Appreciate it massively, my dude. Do, 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 do. my flash <laughs> no that would have been so good if i hit that flash though oh. okay but no it's a penta it's a penta, penta, penta. does it count if anybody if someone else gets a penta can i bring a champion back penta kill does that count <laughs> or do i have to get the penta <laughs> Penta. Just reminding everybody, this guy has no Rengar games. Don't hold back. Uh, I've got a um, food shop coming later, and I've actually, you know what's hilarious is obviously adjusting to having puppy dog. I've had to order extra bacon because every time I have quite a lot of bacon sandwiches, and every time I make a bacon sandwich now, I cook an extra bacon for her. So I'm going through bacon quicker. Like, oh, damn, she's eating my bacon now. 27 months, Sith Whiff. Uh, 27 months, I'm enjoying the stream on the last day of work for the year. Have two weeks off starting tomorrow. Wow, very nice. That seems like a lot of time off, but... Enjoy it, my dude. Oh, the fish is dead over there. Yeah, I would like Zed back. Zed is... Oh, Ooh. <laughs> he's got no mana. I <laughs> 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 oh, love it. Come here, fish. No, <laughs> I'm going this way. Oh, what? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, no sushi on the menu. Well, we played that game pretty well. What do I think of the Zed nerfs? Oh, they were needed. Uh, even though, well, the Zed game, we actually did get fed. But I couldn't win the game. Zed was a little bit, you know, my opinion, and it's just my opinion, you can agree, disagree. A more complicated assassin like Zed should actually have not a lot of strength because they ultimately have a lot of helped play potential. But recently, Zed had too much base strength. So anybody could play okay on Zed. But what made the difference on the bigger thing is if anybody can play Zed okay because of his base strength is really high, the people are actually very good at Zed were near unstoppable. That was part of the problem. Um, and I, I, and I, that is my mentality a lot of the time with just assassins in general. Is if you make especially an assassin too strong because... You, you know, some people are like, oh, Huzz is picking on the assassin category. Not, I'm not picking on it. It's just by design. Assassins, on average, are thematically supposed to be harder to play than alternatives. They're supposed to be harder than a tank. They're supposed to be harder than a juggernaut or a bruiser. That's what they're ultimately supposed to be. They're supposed to be a more mechanical-based playstyle. 
So when that playstyle is, when that champion or a champion type assassin has too much base strength, it's unhealthy. Um, but yeah, that is my opinion on it. So yeah. Anyway, that was a pretty good game. We went 7-2-6 on Ari. Obviously, the Rengar taking over got a pentakill. Very nice, very nice. Was quite easy to tell this wasn't an Akali player, so they might just be having fun with it, whatever they're doing. But yeah, no, that was that was enjoyable. So Ari lives on. This video is the second video on uh, 24th, technically. So my next video will be the Christmas Day video, as it were. So hopefully you guys are having a good time of the year. I myself, just to kind of make it clear, uh, you know, if you're watching this, you're like, oh, I might tune into a Huzzy stream while you've got time off. I am be uh, taking the 25th of December off. And I'm either back streaming, and it's not fully confirmed yet, I'm either back streaming on the 29th or the 30th. It just depends on a couple things. But yeah, I'll either be back on the 29th streaming or I'll be back on the, on the 30th streaming. Uh, but yeah, just a few days with family and friends and stuff like that. And um, it's, it's always a good recharge just to do that also. But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy this good video, do throw a like on the video, throw a comment, throw a subscribe. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime. I know how to unleash eternal peace.